Why are we so bad at gloving when we put gowns on? I will tell you why. We initially learned to glove up without using gowns. And that's relatively easy. You go like this, and then you go like this. And we're all familiar with that. But when we gown with, our, with surgical gowns on, and we try to put the gloves on, most of the time, our experience from medical school is we walk in the room with our hands washed, they put the gown on us, and they hold the gloves out for us. So we just do that, and we don't have any trouble gowning and gloving ourselves because someone helps us. Now, when you're putting in a central line, or when you're doing a block, or when you're doing something else where you're going to be gowning and gloving completely, we very rarely have to glove ourselves. And I can tell you what happens most of the time. The attending is over here maybe sitting the patient up or preparing for the central line, and the attending usually says this, okay, you go ahead and gown and glove up. The attending at this point rarely watches you. They just sort of assume that you're going to do this correctly. And the resident comes over with their gloves on, and you sort of think magically, hey, I bet you he gloved up correctly. But we very rarely watch with very close precision exactly what the resident's doing. And that's when it's, it, trust me when I say, I tested this out on a bunch of our residents and a bunch of our attendings, and nobody really knew how to glove correctly. So what I did was I went to one of our, our best uh, OR nurses and said to her, show me exactly how you glove and all the little tricks that you do to make sure you do it right. And that is what this video is all about. So in this video, I've just explained to you why we do it wrong so often. Again, we're so used to having someone do stuff for us that when we do it ourselves, we're not quite as good at it. So I'm going to show you how to do it right. Then I'm going to show you how most people do it, which is wrong. And then the final thing I'm going to do is show you very, very much up close the little tiny details that make all the difference in making sure that you glove correctly and smoothly. One of the main things you want to remember when you glove is you want to be able to do all this stuff smoothly. If you're sitting there struggling and wiggling around like this, that doesn't really inspire confidence in those around you. They're thinking somewhere in all that movement, they probably contaminated. So let's see how to do it right. Let's see how most people do it wrong. And then we're going to see some up close and personal details about the little teeny tiny things that make all the difference in the world. And this, we hope, will show you how to glove correctly when you have a gown on. And this should help, ultimately we hope, help patient safety by reducing infections. I've already washed my hands. I put this on here. I hold this edge. Notice my fingers haven't come out. I now hold this edge. Watch carefully. I'm, I flip this. This is now completely covered. Okay, this is now completely covered. Now I'm going to do one more thing. You see how my fingers are pointing up? I'm going to get them hanging down. Then that way, I can easily put the gloves the rest of the way on. And notice this white thing isn't all the way up here, okay? Now again, notice my fingers haven't come out of here. We're going to go over these, all these details later. I put this with the fingers pointing this way. I'm going to show you again. The fingers pointing this way. I then grab the little edge of the glove, I grab the edge of the glove, then I grab this edge, okay, and what do I do? Flip, now it's completely covered, completely covered, and then I make sure this is hanging down, and then I can pull up. And that's how you glove when you have a gown on, all right? Now, I'm going to show you all the little tiny details up close and show you where the little glitches are too. Now I'm going to show you the little bitty details that really go into making sure you glove up correctly and smoothly. The first thing is, you see this little corner here? You're going to want to make sure you grab, when you put this up here, you're going to make sure you grab that corner. One of the big mistakes people make is they grab the corner and they grab the thumb as well, and then things get all gummed up. So let's see who does. Again, notice I'm keeping my fingers, I'm not letting my fingers out, okay, that's wrong. Keeping my fingers in here like this. Now watch how I do this. I pick this up and I lay this with the fingers going this way. Now I'm very careful and you have to look really close. Notice how I just grabbed that corner there. 
See how I just grabbed that corner? I didn't grab that corner and the thumb. That'll really gum things up. I grabbed the corner there, and I grabbed the corner here. And again, you have to look really close and think about this. So now I have the two, I have this corner, see, and I have this corner. Now if I go like this, boom. Okay, I have just now covered my right hand. I've covered my right hand, so the fingers, if they come out, they're going to go right in the glove. Now here's, here's a little maneuver that I'm telling you makes all the difference in the world. You see how my fingers are still pointing up towards me? Watch what I do. Obviously, be careful not to touch anything. All I have to do is just do one little movement. See, I got the fingers pointing down now. That way, I can now grab here, okay, I can now grab here, and see how my hand goes easily into the glove, okay? This white thing isn't way up here, which it would if you grabbed, you know, the other way. You see how my, my hand is covered by, and see, nothing's sticking out. Now, we're going to go over here, we're going to do the same thing. Again, you know, I'm not going to let my fingers come out like this. That would be the wrong thing. I keep my fingers inside. And again, watch very closely. I put this with the fingers pointing this way, but I make sure I can grab that corner. See how I grab that corner? I grab that corner. I don't grab that corner and the thumb. That would really gum things up. I grab just the corner. OK, now I get this out of the way, and I grab this corner. See how I'm just grabbing the two edges? I grab this edge, I'm emphasizing, and this edge. OK, now if I just quick flip this over, boom. Now I have completely covered this hand. I've com see, there's, the skin can't come out anywhere. I've completely covered this hand, so I can't contaminate anything. And then I do this one quick little maneuver to get the fingers pointing down. OK, now I can grab here. And you'll see that I can then, see, pull the thing all the way up. And the white part isn't way up high here anymore, OK? So never did the fingers come out, and that's exactly how I did it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this again with my bare fingers so you see really what it is that I'm, that I'm trying to do. Obviously with the bare fingers and, out the, and without the, the gown on, it, it's, it's a mistake, but that will show you exactly the little detailed points I want to I make. Now this time I'm doing this without the gown, so obviously you wouldn't do it this way. But I'm really doing this just to emphasize what it is I want you to be grabbing, OK? So you make the fingers point towards you. You, and I'll put this against the back, back, the backdrop here of black. You make sure you grab this and this alone. See that? This and this alone. Not this and the thumb. That will gum you up, as I demonstrated earlier. This and this alone. Over here, you grab this and this alone. Again, not this plus the finger. That'll get everything all mixed up. You grab this and this alone. Then you do the flip. You've now done the flip. I've completely covered everything. Now you do my little dangle it down thing. And then you're able to zoom right up in there. I'll demonstrate over here. Again, obviously, the, this would be with a gown, but I'm just showing you so you can see the details better. Watch as I make sure I grab this and this alone. This and this alone, not this and the thumb, but this and this alone. And then on this side, grab this and this alone. Okay, see the two edges? Edge, edge only. I then flip over. I then do my little dangle the fingers down. Then I can easily put it up. And those are the individual details to make sure that you can glove correctly. Let's review. We're all pretty good at gloving when it comes to just putting on gloves. We do that all the time when we do spinals and epidurals. It's my contention that we're not that good at gloving up when we have on a gown and we have to glove ourselves. As a review and going back to the very beginning of this video, we tended to not learn how to glove ourselves. We tended to come in the room, get the gown put on for us, have the gloves held out for us. And really, it's the surgical techs and the OR nurses who are really better at, at gloving than we are. But we should take a page from their book and learn how they do it. I've demonstrated here all the little steps to make sure that you are able to 
glove up correctly and smoothly. Again, as a review, being very careful to grab the edge, grab the edge, flip, dangle the, the fingers down, and then slide up easily, and make sure that you do a smooth and sterile gloving of yourself.